Hey y'all, how's it going? Um, I am still adjusting to my new working schedule. Oh, there comes that humidity. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So, still adjusting to my new work schedule and like how that lays into filming and all that good stuff. Um, oh man. Y'all, this is the this is the time of year the humidity is like so bad. Um, but there have been some developments and we have a few other things to do this week. So I gotta figure out the new schedule because the gardening never stops. So my big beautiful Mexican torch sunflowers have lived their best life. Oh, uh, we're just looking really bad. Like they were just dying and they'd kind of just lived out their life cycle. So I went ahead and chopped them down. And I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and plant some mammoth sunflowers right there. I really liked having something really big and beautiful. Oh, this humidity is killing me. I liked having something like really tall right here. So we're gonna do some sunflowers because those are just easy to maintain. And oh, it's time time because I'm sick of walking outside and seeing stuff like this <sighs> basically I have chopped down uh, some of my tomatoes and that's just because it's really hot they look like shit and the squirrel will not stop murdering them so I've just decided, you know, it, it's definitely a hard decision when you decide to kind of like cut something like that, but it's one of those things where it's like the garden is supposed to bring me like peace and joy. And so if the garden's not bringing me peace and joy, then I have to kind of figure out how to fix that. So I'm starting to take down these tomato plants. Again, I've gotten so many tomatoes, <laughs> like so many. and. Last year, I actually tore down my tomato plants, I think like mid-July, so I'm really not too far off of where I was last year. Um, I've talked about it a lot recently. To me, hobbling my tomato plants through this time of year with pest pressure and the watering and all of that stuff, it's just not worth it to me for like a small crop of tomatoes in the fall. So that's why my tomatoes are coming down and then I'm gonna finish getting those down um, compost everything and then it's we're gonna plant some sunflowers which I'm pretty pumped about okay guys slowly but surely we are losing the heirloom tomato bed so I'm uh, trying to just do a couple at a time because it's really hot outside um, and I just threw a little bit of water on the garden but noticed something when I was out here watering and I thought I'd come grab my camera and show you guys so this is powdery mildew. That's what this is. It is a mold that gets on your plants and this just comes from humidity. There's really nothing you can do about it. Um, I just kind of let it do its thing. Once the leaves die, I just chop them off. That's why the leaves look a little bit dense in through here because I did some cleaning up. I didn't quite get all the way in there, but like those dead leaves, I'll just clip them off. Ooh, something was buzzing right near my head. But the other thing I wanted to show you guys is this is why you need to look at your cucumber plants pretty closely because I had not gotten down in the trenches and when I was watering I saw a bunch of cucumbers that needed to be picked. Cucumbers do start to get a little wonky um, when the plant starts to get too hot. So like you'll see some weird shapes like this, um, but these will be very good pickles. So I've told this story now a couple of times, but our Great Dane, she ate my cucumber plants, <laughs> the first couple rounds of cucumber plants. Um, so I should have had cucumbers a few weeks earlier, which would have really helped the taste. The cucumbers I'm getting now are on the bitter side. Um, that's just what happens when it gets hot, they get bitter, um, but I still, pick them and make pickles out of them. I make like a sweet spicy pickle recipe. Um, it kind of masks the bitter flavor, but they're beautiful. I got a few last tomatoes. This is a golden jubilee, which I didn't get that many of these, but they're amazing. And then a little black crim, but yeah, the season's, uh, season's changing. 
Whoever said that the South doesn't have four seasons has never lived here because we have very, four very distinct seasons. We have summer, we have Hades, um, super hot summer, we have fall, but like fall is like 70 to 80 degrees, and then we have winter. So there are four seasons here, and there are four seasons to plant in, believe it or not. So the beautiful bed right now, I, always, I seem to always have like a beautiful bed, and then one that's like in progress, and then one that's dying. That's just kind of how it's been going. So this is my beautiful bed right now. This is all okra, different kinds of okra. There's Clemson spineless, burgundy, and then Jing orange, and then these are all some really beautiful sunflowers. I think this guy will be my first one. And then a couple Armenian white cucumbers. I need to figure out when I need to pick those. Um, more sunflowers, so this should all be blooming and big and beautiful here before long, um, which is good because that's sad. But it looks like maybe tomorrow morning we will have our first sunflower. Okay guys, get a report. The deed is done. All the tomatoes are gone. Had a couple surviving marigolds. These are bambinos. And then these are a different kind. I don't remember. It's okay. It is a-okay. Because I have a few minutes um, at the end of my lunch break before I go into like another couple of hours of meetings. And so it shouldn't take that long. We are going to plant the sunflower wall. So I'm going to put the mammoths in the back. And then I have Velvet Queen, which is a really beautiful orange. I'll put a color, I'll put a picture up here. And then Evening Sun, which are these beautiful red varieties. So if I remember correctly, there's not that many seeds in this packet. So I also grabbed a packet of these little short sunspots um, to layer in there as well. So my hope is this is going to be a good drought resistant bed that still can provide a lot of beauty for the next couple of months. and. We will, we will mourn the loss of the tomatoes, which I have to chop up for the compost <laughs> still. So I'm gonna plant each seed 12 feet apart um, and probably do multiple seeds just in case they don't germinate. So this bed is 12 foot by three foot. So that means I can get three rows of sunflowers and I can get 12 in each row. Um, and I'm just using my Hori Hori knife this is about 12 inches long, so I literally dig a hole with the tip of this, plant the seed, plant the next seed, go, go, go. And since this bed is mulched, what I will do is I will move aside the mulch like this, pull any weeds that I run into, don't want those. So I will just pull aside the mulch and I will actually just stick the seed right here and put the mulch back over it. The seed will germinate. Oh, I touched that nasty tomato. Um, it'll germinate just fine. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I've done this lots of times with sunflowers. Sunflowers are like the most difficult thing to kill. Like if you need like a confidence booster with flowers, plant some sunflowers um, because they're like impossible to to not do well. I'm sorry if you haven't done sunflowers well. But. Speaking of sunflowers, we have our first one. It's really beautiful. I think this is part of the florist bouquet that I grew in this like random little patch. And considering throwing a few zinnia seeds in here, I think this patch didn't do very well um, because when I planted it, the tomatoes were right already like six feet tall and the angle that the sun comes in at, the tomatoes were just shadowing out those flowers. So lesson learned, plant it all at the same time so it all gets equal sun <laughs> next year. Hey y'all, editing Brooke here. I realized I never filmed an outro. <laughs> I'm just having one of those weeks where it's like new job, like adjusting to all the new things and then like it's hot and the garden is just like uh, it's like every time I go outside, I get eaten alive by mosquitoes. So there's just, there's a lot of factors, but I appreciate 
all of your grace and understanding and kind words. Um, they're very necessary. So I appreciate you for all of the people who have commented. Um, adjusting to a new job is, is no joke, let me tell you. But came here to say thanks so much for watching. Happy gardening, and we will see you next week.